Sipping on the comma, what a 211 in my mind Persuaded by the devil, gripping on my black plastic now Search if I will look dead, I can hit with murder in my soul Swinging bending corners in the 67 L coat Hey guys, welcome back to Hypecage. As we all know Denjiro is a samurai of Wano country who once served Kazuki Odin until Odin death 20 years ago. He is also one of the nine red scabbards, but we still don't know his true identity. So, in this post, we will be talking about him and who he really is. According to one theory from at Capt. Awesome D. Shin, Denjiro might be inspired from the actor Okochi Denjiro. One of the roles that Okochi Denjiro played was Tange Seizen a one-eyed, one-armed samurai from the movie The Million Ryo Pot. Tange Seizen is probably one of Oda's inspiration for Zoro. Not only their appearance, the way they unsheathe a sword using their mouth is also similar. This where it gets interesting. Apparently in the movie The Million Ryo Pot, there is a boy named Yasu. In the movie, Yasu's father enjoys shooting arrows in an archery parlor where Tange Seizen worked. Tange Seizen is described as the master of the establishment but the true proprietor is a lady called Ofuji. After Yasu's father died, he was taken in by Tange Seizen and Lady Ofuji. So where am I going with this? As I mentioned above, Zoro is inspired by Tange Seiz that's why I believe that the name Denjiro is inspired from Okochi Denjiro while Tonoyasu is inspired by Yasu in the movie Million Ryo Pot, according to one theory from at Capt. Awesome D. Shin, Denjiro might be inspired from the actor Okochi Denjiro. One of the roles that Okochi Denjiro played was Tange Seiz in a one-eyed, one-armed samurai from the movie The Million Ryo Pot. Tange Seizen is probably one of Oda's inspiration for Zoro. Not only their appearance, the way they unsheathe a sword using their mouth is also similar. This where it gets interesting. Apparently in the movie The Million Ryo Pot, there is a boy named Yasu. In the movie, Yasu's father enjoys shooting arrows in an archery parlor where Tange Seizen worked. Tange Seizen is described as the master of the establishment but the true proprietor is a lady called Ofuji. After Yasu's father died, he was taken in by Tange Seizen and Lady Ofuji. So where am I going with this? As I mentioned above, Zoro is inspired by Tange Seiz that's why I believe that the name Denjiro is inspired from Okochi Denjiro while Tonoyasu is inspired by Yasu in the movie Million Ryo Pot. What is more interesting is that the story of the movie The Million Ryo Pot is about a pot who got passed down to different people until it ends up serving as a gold fishbowl to Yasu without them knowing that the true worth of the pot is a million Ryo until someone from a famous clan mentioned it. The story of the pot actually reminds me of the blueprint of Kaido's fortress in Onigashima. Remember it also gets passed down to several people. Although it is still unknown where it is, it seems that Kinemon has an idea where it might be. So I believe that the blueprint is in the possession of Tonoyasu aka Denjiro. Another thing that hints that Tonoyasu might be Denjiro is that in chapter 938, we found that he actually knew both Kanjiro and Shinobu and also was able to decode Kinemon's coded message. Although they don't seem to recognize who Tonoyasu is but I think it is just because of aging. I mean it's been 20 years since they last saw Denjiro. So, it's possible that Denjiro changed so much after that time span because of old age. 